Uh, wait, so how, what if I told you that there was a man coming on mm -hmm. that uh, currently was uh, playing Nagoya Grampus in the J League. Mm -hmm. He helped Nagoya Grampus to win their first ever J League title. He was the top scorer for the, uh, in the J League. Yes, someone knows who he is. What else <laughs> if I told you that he was the man that scored the goal to get us to the World Cup oh. in Rio Whoa. 2014? What if I told you that our next guest was a wonderful socceroo and a beautiful head by the name of Josh Kennedy? <laughs> Good to have you here. Uh, and thanks for that, by the way. I haven't had a chance to thank you in uh, person. Thank you for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. No, I really appreciate it. Yeah, great thanks job. Thanks for a lot of things in the past. I was at the game, at the Croatia game in 2006 when you came on and absolutely created havoc yeah. and got the ball over to, to Harry and Harry scored. <laughs> Jeez, it was great. It was fantastic. Good job. And, uh, and I'm very happy too because, you know, I met you in the green room. <laughs> so, you know. We've all, all had our moments, history. don't all we? Right. Well, first things first, though, we do need to talk uh, Asian Cup because it's one year to go this Thursday yeah. on the 9th. And in Melbourne, Fed Square, the Socceroos coach and his best mate, Ange Postacoglu. <laughs> I've heard you. Yeah. Oh, you have yeah. heard, have you? Yeah, they're currently on Tinder together. It's gross. <laughs> um, <laughs> Socceroos captain and Asian Cup ambassador Lucas Neal uh, is going to be there. Just, there's going to be tons of things to do for the kids. It's going to be great. Get yourself down there, Fed Square, uh, this uh, Thursday from uh, 9th, of, 9th of Jan. Now, talking about um, 2015 Asian Cup uh, ambassadors, yep. do you know any other people that uh, are one of those? Just Lucas Neal. Yes. Just Lucas Neal. Yes. There's, yeah, there's someone else who's one yes. as well. Yes. Have a guess. <laughs> <laughs> is that true? It is true. Oh! How does he do it? I do not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do not. yeah, I don't know how I did it either. <laughs> but it's going to be great, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Um, it's, a, it's a massive tournament for Australia. Mm. Um, and as you said, it's only just, uh, just over a year away. Um, so I think, uh, you know, after the World Cup, it's definitely going to be something that everyone can look forward to. And everyone's talking about the fact that, that Ange is possibly looking to the, uh, to the, to the, to the Asian Cup probably as a more interesting kind of project than, than the World Cup. World Cup's bigger and stuff like that. I mean, you, we can't get into Andrew's head, but do you think that that's the direction we should be aiming at in, in terms of rebuilding the side? It's difficult to say. I mean, um, the World Cup is obviously on our, on our doorstep and it's, uh, as a player, it's hard for me to look too far beyond that. Um, so the next six months, I think, is uh, extremely important um, as, as a, a player. And uh, I think, you know, Andrew will obviously see the bigger picture in things and um, he'll have his plan in place for the World Cup and, and thereafter for the Asian Cup. Speaking of the World Cup, I don't know if you know this, but uh, someone just died in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, producer, they've had enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know if you know this, but our group, there's Spain. Did you know? The yeah. Netherlands and Chile. As the man who scored the goal uh, against Iraq to get us to Brazil, do you at all feel responsible for that? <laughs> <laughs> um... A little bit, I guess, yeah. Um, <laughs> I asked the hard question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, 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 the, he's the George Negus of the yeah. team. Yeah. Um, the, uh, well, I mean, w the, the goal that you did score against Iraq, it was, it was beautifully set up by, by Bresch. And mm. at the moment, Bresch is deciding whether he needs to appeal his particular case, whether he's going to be at the World Cup. How important to you personally is having Bresch in the side? No, uh, personally, it's extremely important. Um, not just the, the way he crosses the balls in and, and lands them on my head, but <laughs> um, he's a big part of the team. His personality and, uh, you know, his experience is what we need in the team. So uh, I wish him all the best. I hope, yeah. I hope he's yeah. with us and yeah. uh, I hope things fall in his favour yeah. uh, because uh, not just myself, but the team needs him. I'm just hoping he doesn't get Judge Judy. She's tough. <laughs> you know what I mean? we, want to get, we want Judge Dukes. Judge Dukes, that's, um, uh, that's who we want. And the, the, the thing is that it's actually quite conceivable. I, I've had so many people come up to me. The, the latest is uh, Jimmy, my news agent. He s says that, why don't we... You know, why don't we what, is he, what does he sell you? Your, your penthouse? <laughs> Dirty mags, are you kidding me? No, the, um, no. the, 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 the idea is that for all the... You know, how we can we prepare it aside, we might be better off just going route one, just, yes. just send it right down the yeah. middle to a Some big havoc. guy and head the ball in. Yeah. I mean, is it possible that we can actually... Uh, shock the world. Shock the world by going back to some basics. I, I don't think we want to go that far back to basics. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. There may be times in the game where those tactics work, and, and obviously in the past they have paid off. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I think we'll, we'll definitely, obviously with Ange, we'll try to play football. We'll, we'll try to keep things on the deck and in the right positions on the pitch. You know, get balls in the box and, and try to cause problems. So, mm. um, but you know, no doubt, I think there'll be times where we say. 
I'll just put one in the mixer and let's see what yeah, happens. Mixer. I love the mixer. Yeah, <laughs> the mixer is good. The, um, when, when we talk about teams that sort of surprise people and do well in the World Cup, uh, Uruguay did it in the last World Cup. They got to a semi final. And basically, they only had like a they had two or three good players, just killer players. Mm -hmm. And in terms of strikers, you just wonder how do you instill into a striker just deadly strikes? There's, there's some guys playing in the EPL right now that are just going, they just, all they do is want to get the ball and hit it into the net. Is that something that happens developmentally or is that something you instill in a side once they're there? I think uh, as a striker, when you get on a run, it's, it's a hot streak and you, know, you have times where you feel every shot goes in and, and, and you can't miss and that's just you know, a massive confidence uh, thing. And uh, obviously there's the opposite to that where... You, you miss you, it. You, you, yeah. well, <laughs> You didn't say anything. You didn't say You wouldn't. Um, but yeah, there's the opposite where you know you feel like the world's against you and nothing goes in. So right. let's hope uh, we're on the hot street come World well, Cup time. Now I know that Andrew's going on a magical mystery tour around the world looking yeah. at Australian players, and that's a lot. Uh, when Hiddington, his assistants did that way back uh, when, that's where they found you. You know, you were plucked yep. not from obscurity, but people didn't really know you back here. Yep. So we've been through all of the Australians available. Uh, and we think that uh, here at Total Football, we've come up with Australia's best 11. And I think we've got it here. So, this is what we're going with. <laughs> <laughs> Padden in goal, obviously, right? We've got Smith and Lyon on the wing backs because they can sort of curl it in. They do spin, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Siddle and Harris, they're very solid citizens in the middle. <laughs> obviously, we've got Clark in there with Rogers. They're very, they're solid, you know, but Clarky because he's very box to box. Wow, you've given us you some thought. Uh, this, this, this is what I did in my break, all right? So, uh, <laughs> you got Warner and, and Watson. They're going to go down the flanks. And then, what do you reckon? Do you reckon you, big, you, you and Big Mitch Johnson up front, that's a, that's a team, isn't it? That sounds pretty awesome to me. Uh, <laughs> actually, Josh is actually wearing his 2020 gear there. Yeah. Everyone else is in their test gear. But uh, that's a, I would have gone for a stronger off-field, uh, off-side field. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe yeah. a 7-2 <laughs> rather than a 4-4-2 there. Hey, we there. Go to let you go in a minute. Have you got one, Sammy, before well, we... Well, all right, I've got two notes here. Because I've yeah. got to be honest, Josh. Yeah. When it comes to interviews, I've been... I haven't been going well. He's over 50. <laughs> so I made some notes. Now, do we talk about the, your, you know, your time with the uh, Nagoya Grampus, or do we talk about your time in the NSL with Carlton? What do you want to talk about? We can talk about both, but you choose. Carlton you it choose. is. <laughs> that was ready to go. 1999, four appearances. Yeah. One assist. Take us through it. <laughs> <laughs> I should remember this, shouldn't I? Really? Yeah, it um, sounds like you didn't do much before games. You should remember this. I think. Where do we play Mike Haney? We play the Sydney Olympic, maybe. <laughs> How good is it? Gippsland. Gippsland. Yeah. Oh, the Falcons. The Falcons. Uh, the and another one. Um, another you'll one. have to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, I don't no. know. <laughs> well, sorry. we look forward to... Hey, uh, so, so by Asian... the way, uh, Mike Cockrell just uh, tweeted in. He said, this interview with Josh is not a classic. OK. <laughs> so it's this Thursday, you, uh, this Thursday, uh, Asian Cup at Fed Square in Melbourne. Get yourself down there and get involved, because that's going to be a ripper. And we look forward to seeing you, Mr yeah. Josh Kennedy, banging them in at the World Cup for the Socceroos. Thank you for getting us to the World Cup. You're a great soccer and thank you for joining us today. Total football.